Can you guys see me way over here? Can you see me? We're doing a first Cusco one cut where I'm flying a drone and I'm gonna use the drone for the entire uncut. I'm gonna to try to pan around this rock right now and then come back over so I can actually talk to you guys face to face and hopefully not crash this brand new drone. I got some cool stuff to talk about and uh, please don't crash into the water, Cusco. Look down, where's the water? There it is. It's right there. Oh, there's kelp. Let's not crash into the water, please. That would be fantastic. Let's go a little lower, a little bit lower. That's good right there, right? Oh, please don't crash into the rock. All right, here we come. It's always scary flying a drone over the water. Oh, snap. Or almost crashing it into yourself. Oh! All righty, folks. I don't know why the gimbal's stuck facing that way, but... Turn back, gimbal. I guess I can't turn the drone off, can I? Because I need to record on it. Man, this is presenting more challenges than I thought it was going to. You just sit there, drone, and, and do nice and level stuff. It's working. All right, guys. First time bringing you guys a, an uncut from a drone. I need to find somewhere to put this so that I'm not... <laughs> this might not have been the greatest idea that I, that I thought it would be. Oh, now, now I've got the auxiliary light on. I don't even know what that... Why is that happening? Okay. Great, great start, Brian. Great start. Those of you guys that are watching the channel for the first time, you may know that... Uh, well, you don't know anything. And what I do is I put up three videos a week. Two of them are edited masterpieces. One of them is an uncut video like this one. So from the, here's the rules. Here's the, I got a little list played out for you guys since I knew my brain would be occupied flying this drone. I made myself a little list here. The rules for the uncut, just so you guys know, are that once I hit record, I just roll through and I play it all the way through until I stop recording. And that's the video but I can do speed ramping and cool stuff like that as long as I don't actually cut it. Layering over intro graphics or putting little things over here so I'm sitting off this side so I can show you guys some cool pictures of what's going on today. And I got a few things I want to talk about. One, I was, I was dead. I was just dead wrong about something and I, I totally missed it in one of the last videos. I'm gonna talk about that. We're at the beach because, hey, come here, my friend. Come here, my guy. Eli, Eli, can you come here real quick? I know you're cutting a piece of kelp and it's very important, but can you come over here real quick for me? Eli, 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 Eli. <laughs> this guy, this guy, it's his fifth birthday today. Happy birthday, screamy guy. Happy birthday, my guy. You have a good day so far? Yeah. Yeah, you having a good time? Yep. I'm glad, my guy. And by the way, I have sandy hands. Oh, good. I'm glad. Go, go ahead. I'll let you get back to your kelp. We were going to go to a lake, and it was going to be like 100-something degrees at that lake, so we came here instead, which is a much better call. There was even some lightning again and thunder at the house, which I flew this drone for the first time and got that lightning on camera. Look, check out this clip right here. Big lightning. So I sent the drone up 10 seconds later. <laughs> strike right there. Super stoked on that. Um, a couple of other things we're going to talk about today, besides the fact that it's Eli's birthday. Actually, my parents are in town, too. You guys probably haven't seen them forever. Um, maybe I'll go over there and grab a little B-roll shot of them after. Oh, and I decided it's time to get this going before we get chased off this beach by the tide, because the tide is coming up on our favorite beach here. Um, the other thing, I've got snakes hatching. Remember that last video? They actually hatched here on Eli's birthday like I had them planned for or had them scheduled for. So birthday snakes, we did get the anniversary snakes that we hatched with Hillary and I having our anniversary. And then these next snakes are born on Eli's birthday. We're having some really cool clutches this year. Talk about that. Talk to you guys about the educational program and uh, do some thank yous. So I already covered the rules about the uncut. Basically just record and then stop and that's it. The thing that I was wrong about was in that last video when I said it was going to be the last video I ever make about Coral Glow. I still think I'm right about that. I don't think I'm going to make another video about Coral Glow Banana and how it works. But I, I was confused at the end there and a couple people called me out on this in the comments, which I appreciate you guys for doing that because otherwise I would have just glossed right by it. I'm glad somebody noticed. Clint Laidlaw and Steve Pecor. I hope I'm saying that right, Stephen. 
they, they noticed that I had mentioned if you're pairing coral glow to coral glow that you can't know if the males from that pairing are if they're female maker or male maker but actually I was wrong and I didn't think this all the way through and if you know that the male in the pairing when you're doing coral glow to coral glow is a male maker then all of the males in that next clutch will be male maker because if the animal is going to be male then that male has to pass on his Y because the female can only pass on her X so it's going to be all the males that are single gene coral glow in those pairings are going to be male makers if your father of the clutch was a coral glow male maker oh man so <laughs> the next and so Clint made the point Clint made that point and then Steve also brought the same point but the other thing was that um if you have a female maker, male, that's the father of that clutch, then all of your single gene males will be female makers because of the same reason that we discussed before. Uh, and that's just kind of how that works, right? No, I, I oh man, no, I'm just confusing. And anyway, I was wrong. That's the point. You guys want to have a fourth Coral video? <laughs> Looks like that's the direction we might be headed. I'm making the video, my friend. And, uh, okay. Told you why we're at the beach. Eli's birthday. Beautiful beach. We love coming to this beach. Um, favorite beach. All the beaches are packed because it's so hot inland right now. It's like 107, which is why we didn't go camping on the, on the lake. Because, no, if you knock over that drone, it's not going to be a good time for any, any of us. Can you please stop doing that? Because you're going to knock the drone off the rock, bud. And I'm going to be extremely upset. Are you trying to stick your hand in the frame? I'm trying to see it. Can you just back off before you do something that causes us both to have shorter lives? Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as I was saying, uh, it was, it's 107 inland, and everybody in California seems to be headed to the coast here. Longest lines I've seen going to the beach, but our little favorite beach that we come to all the time still has like nobody on it. As you can see from the drone footage, it's just us. So I, I love that. Um, the clutch that is hatching today on Eli's birthday are the sunsets. And if you remember, I made some predictions about that clutch, including how many eggs and slugs there were gonna be and how many visuals we were gonna hit. And I'm just gonna say I was really, really close. And I'm gonna try my best to wait until they shed out to show you those snakes because I've never done that before. I always get impatient and show you them before they've even had their first shed. But this time, I'm gonna wait because I think it'll be worth it. And it's a beautiful looking clutch, I will tell you that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, of course, was the educational program I announced the other day that we're going to do here. We already have some people signing up, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you guys for signing up uh, September 2nd, so Wednesday at 11 a.m. We're doing an educational program live here on YouTube, kind of like the ones we do. It is a roaming reptile show with all the different species geared towards kids and letting them check out the animals where people can comment and ask questions. If you want to sign up for that, just remember to email me, becuscoMe.com, and we're also doing one on... Oh, I got my, <laughs> I got my lab mic in here recording the audio. I almost got it wet with that last wave. <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. Saturday, September 5th, for those that can't make the weekday, at 1 p.m. Pacific time, both of these times are, of course. Uh, we're going to be doing one as well there. So we've got people signing up for both days already. There is limited space, so if you really want to join and take part in that, then make sure you send me an email so you can get signed up. Uh, and... Of course, the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about today was, well, thank you to Chris. Chris Sexton, my, bu my buddy over at uh, Heli Guy Serpents. Actually, you guys might know that have watched the channel. Chris helped me out when I got all my gear stolen a while back by sending me a drone to replace my drone. He said, he was like, I want to send you a, a drone since you lost your drone. I was like, dude, are you crazy? Like, I mean, I appreciate that, but a whole drone? And he's like, oh, I got, uh, and I got an extra one sitting around. I was like, oh. All right, well, if you got an extra, I mean, <laughs> let's do that. And then I crashed my drone again. I crashed my drone all the time, but this one was a more fatal crash, crashing into a tree right before Australia. And then Chris was like, just send it to me. I'll go send it to get repaired since it's his drone, technically. Um, I thought it'd be easier if I just sent it to him rather than trying to get service through DJI. And I, he, I sent it out to him. He said he got it repaired. He sent it back, and I opened the box this morning. And surprise, surprise, a brand new Mavic Air 2 instead of my old repaired drone. His argument was that he's too cool to do something half-ass and he wanted to just send me the whole big drone, a whole brand new drone, which Chris, you are a scholar and gentleman. I, I can't really thank you enough. Chris has been a huge supporter of us and the channel for as long as we've known him. We keep his chair on, we keep his shirt on the back of our chair and uh, you guys go check out his channel, Heli Guy Serpents. There's a link right down in the description. He's starting to hatch out some clutches over there, and he's just a, 
a cool guy. I'm not just saying it because he sent it the drone. The drone is definitely a big plus, but he's an awesome guy to talk to. He's a really good talker and uh, just somebody that I, I find easy to get along with. So thank you again, Chris, for, for inspiring me to film my very first vlog and uncut completely on a drone, your drone that you sent to me. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I think I've said all I need to say at this point, but let me have you guys go say hi to the folks maybe real quick. Since Here, we haven't seen you guys for a while. I just wanted to get a little <laughs> visual confirmation that you do still exist. There they are, existing. Time. Say that again, you got speaking in the microphone. Oh, I hope to exist for a long time. Yes, yes. We, hope to we all hope that you guys time. keep existing for a long time. <laughs> Thank you for taking part in Eli's birthday celebration. There's my guy over there doing some, you know, crazy rock stuff. I gotta get this stuff off the rock before I lose more equipment to water damage. <laughs> what do I do? It look, I feel like I'm not intelligent right now. Let's get this, let's send you guys off properly as we would with a a vlog shot on a drone, shall we? Let's do that. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We appreciate you and all, all your support. Um, see you guys on the next video, which is coming up real soon. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Noah, why do you insist on making things difficult for me? I might. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get this drone to take off real quick off of this rock, which is definitely not the ideal place for it. All right, here we go. And...